So here I'm using uh, Delphi 10 Seattle subscription update one. I have app tethering apps that want to send data between two or more app tethered connected apps. And for security, we need to encrypt the data before sending to any connected app. And then we need to decrypt the data when it's received by any of the connected apps. To the app, I added memo one box and memo two box to log messages to show how we are doing the encryption and the decryption. And the apps have a checkbox to tell the app if it needs to encrypt or decrypt the data. The app tethering, tethering app profile component has these four new intercept event handlers to intercept the data or intercept the stream allowing you to add custom encryptions to the data or stream before sending to app tethered connected apps and then use the on after receive data event or the on after receive stream event to decrypt the data or the stream after receiving the data or the stream. These apps will be sharing data between two or more app tethered connected apps and to create the data resource, we use the tethering app profile property called resources. And here is where we can create our data resources. So for these apps, we created two resources, uh, one resource called resource one, which is a resource type of data, and a second resource called resource two, which is also a resource type of data. The other resource type could be stream, but for these apps, we are only going to be sharing data. We enter the data we want to share in our edit box and then when we click on our resource one button we send the resource data from the edit box to the connected tethered apps by calling the tethering app profiles send string method but before the string data is sent the tethering app profiles intercept event handler on before send data fires and that's where we can encrypt the data. So now let's look at the on before send data event. So looking at the tethering app profiles event called on before send data, we see that it's a function for post processing of the data that occurs before the application profile sends data to the remote application profile. So here is where we can process the A data buffer and encrypt the data before sending it to the remote application profile. Looking at the on before send data event, we see that it's a function. So you need to return the data you want. Uh, the constant A data buffer is of type T array system dot byte. And it's the incoming receive data to the function. So in this on before send data event, here is where I'm taking the incoming data string and encrypting it using the exclusive or cipher with the key of dollar sign 55. So here I'm using a loop to go through the T array of system byte to encrypt the data with exclusive or to every character using the key uh, dollar sign 55. It's important to say that any type of encryption algorithm can be used here. And for this example, I'm using the exclusive or cipher. In cryptology, the exclusive or cipher is a type of additive cipher. It's an encryption algorithm that operates according to the principles that a string of text can be encrypted by applying the bitwise exclusive or operator to every character using a given key. And then to decrypt the output, all you need to do is reapply the exclusive or function with the same key and it will remove the cipher. So here we are encrypting the data with this exclusive or cipher to every character using a key dollar sign 55. Now, exclusive or is not the most secure encryption, but I'm just using it here as an example. Now that we have the data encrypted, 
to the other app dethered connected remote apps, we need to use the inverse function of this on before send data event, which is the on after receive data event to decrypt the data. So let's look at that now. So next in the other app dethered connected apps, we need to use the on after receive data event to decrypt the encrypted data. So here we have the function for on after receive data and we see that it's very similar to the function before send data. So here the a data buffer is the receive data from the remote application profile that encrypted the data. So here we can process the A data buffer and decrypt the data. Here in the on after receive data event is where we need to decrypt the string data and return the plain data result to the dethered apps. So because these are functions, it's important that you must always return the result for the functions. Similar to how we used exclusive or cipher to encrypt the data, we use the same exclusive or cipher to decrypt the data using the same dollar sign five five key. Using a loop, we go through the T array of system byte to decrypt the data with the exclusive or cipher to every character using the key dollar sign five five. Using these techniques with app dethering, you can now add your own custom encryptions to the data or stream before sending to app dethered connected apps, allowing safe and secure exchange of streams and data messages between apps.